The holidays are over. It's time to get fit. Guard fit. <laughs> I have the guard profile all shaped out, ready to go, so we can actually fit the guard now. I'll shape down these parts of the guards and make them a lot skinnier this way after we get the guard fit. So all I've done here is I have found the center this way and uh, put a scribe line there. And then I measured out to the sides, off center, to where the edges of my Ricasso would go. And I put a couple scribe lines across there. And then I carefully held the knife right in between the scribe lines and marked out where the edges of the tang are. So right there and right there. And then I used a straight edge to put the line all the way across. And I also found the center of the guard this way, put a scribe line there. I found the very outside of the Ricasso. That's the outside thickness of the Ricasso, which is about 170 thousandths. And I put scribe lines right there. So they're 170 thousandths apart. This will just help guide where I need to put my slot and make sure I get it all nice and straight. And uh, one last line that I put on there was I measured the tang thickness right up against the Ricasso because it's relieved a little bit. So that's uh, uh, just over 150 thousandths or 250 thousandths. So there's about a 10 thousandths of an inch relief around the edge of the Ricasso. So I, I have that that 250 thousandths line marked out too and that's what we need to mill right up to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a quarter inch mill bit. Uh, I measured the, the tang with a micrometer and it's 252 thousandths. So using a quarter inch mill bit should be just about right to uh, cut that out with. Something else that's really important about uh, fitting this guard is the profile has already been shaped on the guard. So I have to get the knife fit exactly where it goes. It can't be more than, I don't know, I'll, I'll give it about five thousandths of an inch up or down, but I want it to be within that range. If it's more than that, then, uh, then I, it's not right. Uh, just because I want all this stuff to be nice and centered. So it's gonna be uh, a little bit extra work getting the guard fit, but it, was, it made it a lot easier to get the profile done beforehand, so I went ahead and did that. Yes, let's start milling out the uh, guard slot next. All right guys, we've got this milled out now. I got it pretty close to the final size it needs to be so that I probably won't have to do hardly any filing on it, uh, but you can file it to get it closer too. I also relieved the back side a little bit, about 10 thousandths of an inch all the way around, about 180 thousandths of an inch down in there. That'll make fitting the guard a little easier. So basically there's about a 200 thousandths area that we're actually gonna be fitting and then this back area will just be kind of uh, free floating a little bit. Something else that's important is to keep track of which way is up on this because it's real easy to get these symmetrical guards flipped around. So right now I have some arrows on there. And for me, my name is always like the front side. So holding it with my name to me, that, that would be up right here. So to make a permanent mark on there, what I like to do is just take a punch and 
put a little dot on the top side. Make sure it's going to be hidden under the handle. So now I've got a nice permanent little dot in there that I can always reference to make sure I'm putting the guard on the, the right way. Maybe smooth that, smooth that little dot out because it made a little high spot. The next thing I want to do is hammer this on here and then start, start the process of gently removing a little bit more material until it fits up there nice and tight. And then I'll go in and eventually the Ricasso will leave a mark on the blade and I mill about a ten thousandth of an inch relief so it goes up over the Ricasso and take it in on my engraving stuff and get it so it actually inlaid, the Ricasso will be inlaid into the uh, guard. Yeah, that's ready to start being hammered on there. But first I need to put lots and lots of layers of duct tape around the blade about right here so we can put it in the vise uh, without hurting the blade. So we'll get start doing the duct tape right now. I was hammering on the duct tape just to help it uh, help all the layers stick together a little better because don't want this uh, sliding up. It'll probably slide a little bit, but uh, I want to try to eliminate as much of that as possible. So now we can go clamp it up in the vise and start whamming this thing on there. You'll see why I put so many layers of uh, duct tape on there later because I'm clamping this thing down hard. It's pretty hard on the tape. So this is uh, this is a. Just a little bar I made to uh, hammer these guards on. It's a little short though. This tang's pretty long. I might have to take some off the tang. I need to hammer it off there and then uh, take a look at it and then file a little bit so it fits up there a little bit easier. And then just keep doing that until we get a good little outline of the Ricasso onto here so I can take it in and uh, mill out uh, a little bit of a relief for it to fit up over it. And we hammer it on again. So now something I want to do is make sure it make sure it's centered properly. Hopefully it is. I'm not sure. It looks like it might be off a tiny bit, but I need to measure, make sure the, the guard is centered with the blade. So it's coming out about 12 thousandths of an inch there. Make sure I got it. Keep moving it around a little bit. Yeah, 12, 13 thousandths. I'm gonna measure from this side, just under 10, in between five and 10 thousandths. Yeah, I think we're there. I mean, as far as it being centered, it's about five thousandths of an inch out, I think, somewhere in there, five to maybe eight. But I'll show you, I'll show you what 10 thousandths looks like, and it's not even out that much. So there's a 10 thousandths of an inch gap. I know it's only like five thousandths of an inch, but I think I'm going to try to get it like right in the center a little bit closer just because I can at this stage, even though five to eight thousandths is almost nothing. So I need it to go that way a little bit. I put a little arrow on here. I'm just going to file some off this side. I bet that'll work. We're only talking a few thousandths of an inch. The next step I want to do here is everywhere where the Ricasso touches pretty much, I want to relieve about 10 thousandths of an inch with a 3 32 inch mill bit. 
and uh, that'll just I'm gonna take out the rough stuff the big stuff right now and just get close to those scribe lines and then later after we hammer it on a couple more times and leave a perfect outline I'll go to the engraving equipment and remove the rest all right so we're touching go about ten thousandths of an inch Should be more than enough then I'm just like I said I'm just doing the big stuff right now so I just want to get it semi close creating a really nice little flat ledge for the, the ricasso to hit once we get it relief down to it. Now, you should be able to see a little reliefed area um, that the ricasso will get, will rest against after we finish fitting the guard. So 10 thousandths of an inch of the guard will fit over the, up and over the ricasso. Well now I wanna take the, there's some burrs on there, I wanna lightly take those off with a piece of sandpaper and then we'll hammer it on there again. This guard's already starting to fit really tight. Uh, the Ricasso hasn't been reliefed into the guard yet. It's still up on the surface, but it's already fitting like tighter than 95% of most guards fit on knives out in the world <laughs> currently. I think I'm gonna put some marker on it because uh, I kind of have an outline down here of where I need to go with the engraving equipment, but I can't quite see it. So I'm just gonna cover this area in marker and then we're gonna hammer it on there again and hopefully that'll leave a little bit better outline. Something I noticed about looking at the last outline that the knife made on there was that the bottom part here is hitting harder than the top. So I'm gonna focus, uh, I'm gonna focus a little bit more hammer pressure on the top here. So we've got a good outline on the uh, top of the knife. Not a whole lot on the bottom, but I'm gonna go in and start relieving it with the uh, high-speed dental burr. I got it relieved all the way down to where we milled that shelf, 10 thousandths of an inch. It's fitting on there real good. I just need to do a little bit of minor tweaking now in order to get it sitting flat. Cause right now it's not sitting square. It's, it's all the way down, but it's tipped up a little bit. So I just need to get it sitting flat and then this guard will be officially fit. So I'm just gonna mess around with that some more until it's all uh, nice and square with the tang and the blade. It's really important to get the, the guard square on here this way. Don't want to have it tipped like this or like this. Um, normally when I'm not doing a dagger, like I can just put the square right on the blade and check it off the blade because the blade, the spine of the blade a lot of times doesn't have any taper right there. But I can't really do that on a dagger easily so I'm just going to go off the, the tang. The tang is tapered a little bit so it's not going to look square but just as long as the gap is the same or close to the same on both sides then I will call it square. So right here, the square is hitting on the far side and there's a little gap over on the back side. And then flip it over here. And uh, it's hitting on the far side over here and there's a little gap over on, on the back side. So I'm gonna call that square. 
Also, it, it, it can move just a little tiny bit when I uh, go to put my handle on there. So I have to make sure the handle assembly is all square and that will also help hold the guard square. But yeah, this guard, this guard is officially fit. Um, it is, I mean, it's as close to perfect as I've ever seen a guard fit besides being just integral with the piece. It is like so tight. You'll never ever see any kind of gap or anything because it's actually set up over it and it just looks like looks like the blade grew out of the guard fitting it this way. It's a lot of extra work and I only, I personally only know of like uh, two, maybe three guys that do it this way just because of how much extra time it takes but it's really worth it I think um, to just get that perfect, perfect fit on the guard. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have an easier way of, of fitting a guard or, or a similar way that gets equal results because I'm definitely up to learning uh, different ways if there is one but for now I absolutely love this and this is the best way I've found for me because uh, you just get that perfect fit on the guard and it's it's like it ain't coming off there so don't forget to subscribe for more uh, tips and tricks and videos in the future and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye